on a windy hillside near Copenhagen in Denmark is the headquarters of a company with a special mission to make the best hearing aid in the world. Made to measure, these are small, sensitive and more comfortable than ever. The process is called Camishar. Which means computer-aided manufacturing of uh, individual shells for hearing aids. Widex's bulky first model in 1956 came with its own battery chest pack. Hearing aids have been shrinking ever since. Digital technology has made the machines almost vanish into the ear. How important do you think to the user is it that it is invisible? It is extremely important. It's so clear that uh, nobody wants to demonstrate or show their, their hearing loss. Absolutely key to the Kamishar process has been the invention of 3D printers. But how exactly does it work? First a mould is made of my ear canal. Oh, that's quite curious. Next into a laser scanner and we have the data needed for 3D printing. The printers are white anonymous boxes. But peer in and watch what emerges from the pool of acrylic resin. A laser gradually builds up the shapes layer by layer until they rise in a cluster like polyps on a coral reef. It's almost like seeing something from the seabed just yes, rising yes, up. Yes, yes, like a uh, film. Every shell in this batch of 30 or so is different, a precise sculpture of someone's inner ear, into which microcircuitry is inserted. Today, the Kamishar process is used throughout the hearing industry for 95% of all ITE, that's in the ear hearing aids, and over its lifetime, the patent has been worth more than 10 million euros. Kamishar hearing aids are expensive. Prices range from about $1,000 to $3,000 per device. You can get a non Kamishar basic hearing aid for around a couple of hundred dollars. I know it's a business, but for you, is it more than a business? Because it, it affects people's lives. And we get a lot of feedback like this, that uh, feedback from people who said, uh, I can't imagine why I waited five years to get one of these. That's and moving. It is, yeah. and it's motivating. People um, send a letter saying they, they forgot the sound of the, some of the birds. They're walking in the forest, they suddenly heard these birds again, and they hadn't heard them for 10 years, and they forgot they were still there. Background noise. It's a problem for absolutely all of us, but especially for hearing aid users. Now, with this hearing aid plugged in and this remote, I can control the entire soundscape at home. Just pump this up, to cut out all the other sounds, and I'll listen only to the television and directly into my hearing aid, into my earpiece. It's exactly the same with a stereo. I can listen to the music, nothing else but the music, and it comes directly into my earpiece. And when the phone goes, it overrides everything else. More and more of us are going to suffer hearing loss. We're living longer. We tend to listen to music more often and more loudly. It's just as well that hearing aid technology is advancing so dramatically.